Uh, I say we'll just out here getting our feet wet, getting back to the movement that we used to. Wasn't too much of a turnaround, you feel me? We just need to just uh, enjoy the game for uh, like December, so i right back. So I feel, and up to now, I feel like I'm in a good position to keep on grinding. With Johnny gone, Keon gone, did, did you feel like a, an opportunity presented itself this year that might not have been around in years prior? Um, not really. It just, I, for every opportunity I get, I take advantage. I take advantage of it. So I, you feel me? Any opportunity that presents itself, like yeah, there's a bigger opportunity I should have. I should, you feel me? Be more productive. Be this that towards the offense, but it's still a day, a day by day step. I mean, process taking taking it at a time. How, how frustrating was last year? You you might have been the best receiver all spring last spring, uh, and then with the injury you had to deal with, you didn't get a real chance to get your feet up under you and get get a lot of playing time. How frustrating was that? Uh, and then was the guy we saw against Georgia more of the guy we would have seen all season if he'd have been healthy? Um, yeah, the injury it, it set me back a little bit, but I me mean, I'm not I'm not a selfish person, so it was just next person up in line. We from the asylum until I get back, so you feel me? It was an easy transition, Keon coming over, tap him up, and all this and that. You feel me? Have him, you feel me? Give him the best spirit while he's out there on the field. I'm on the sideline, you feel me? But when I did come back, that Georgia game, yeah, I feel like it was a little, a little burst of what I could uh, showcase for next season, even though I wasn't 100%. But. Do you feel like you carried that over into this, this spring a little bit? Yeah, I feel like I carried that over a little bit into the spring. Just keep on working. What have you been What's the result? 50-50 ball, um, staying, staying tight to the line in the quarterback space for the throws and uh, speed. Keep on working, man. I thought last year when you came back from the injury, one of the first things that like really stood out was the blocking right away. Like You were blocking uh -huh. all game. With some smaller receivers this year in practice you're going up against, what do you have to learn like differently blocking? Like you're not blocking a big Johnny Wilson or sorry, small receiver corners, sorry. Um, well it's still the same, you feel me? You want tight hands, tight elbows on everything, you wanna get a holding call, but with the smaller receiver you gotta really put your pad up lower and with the taller with I mean with the smaller corner, you gotta put your pad up lower and the taller corner and shit. It's like more like your height, so you really don't gotta bend as much, but you still wanna get lower than the um, Lower than the DB to have you feel me good blocking with the blocking you can't lose block you may lose something something else but blocking should, should be the number one thing for you feel me receiver. I feel like last year's offense kind of built on what you guys did in 2022. Does this offense feel like it's kind of a reset like a new page that you guys are trying or are you building off what you did last? Year? Uh, a little bit of both, I want to say. We still got some pieces, some, like, some new pieces, you feel me? Especially with the quarterback, with the quarterback room, you, got, you feel me? You got DJ coming in, so he trying to get used to the offense. And you got Malik on the outside with a couple new freshmen and transfer that just came in that could be re very good. So it just, like a little bit of both. We trying to get the younger people at the minute with what we were going through last year and a few years ago. Let them know. Are you guys a faster room this year? Yeah, I feel like we're a faster room this year. Yeah, the young guys rolling. <laughs> the young guys rolling. Jaden Brown, <coughs> who I would say Jaden Brown rolling, Cam rolling, Ja'Kyle, you know Ja'Kyle always rolling. So yeah. What's uh, DJ been like for you guys? What has he brought to the table? Uh, DJ, he brought, uh, what do you call it? Like a quarterback that's want to get the ball to the receiver, you feel me? Stand in the pocket, go throw the ball. And after every play, he gonna look at you, ask you, um, what could I did better? What could you did better? Just trying to get on the same page as a receiver, as a QB should. Is it cool when a guy like Malik Benson shows up and wants to be a leader? Or guys like, hey, he's like, oh no, nah, real, real open, real open for anybody to be a leader. You could be the person who just came two, three days ago. If you want to be a leader, step up and and make a vocal, vocal and let everybody know what's going on, how we should practice, yeah, go ahead and step up. Now you got some leaders that just lead by example who don't say much, too much in the room, who won't speak too much, but come to pull you uh, close, to, close together and talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, then rather than everybody know what's going on. Speaking of one-on-one, -on -one, the number one? Uh-huh. Is, is it, is it, are you faster because of the number or are you just been putting the work this time? Yeah, I just been putting the work, yeah. Just one on you, right? Yeah, just putting the work, yeah, that's all I know. It's same on person, just the number. Do you see a difference in, in DJ from practice one to... Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what is it? Um, accuracy with the ball and get on the same page as the receiver. 
he know when he know when to place it now. We even had so many practices, so it should be an easy transition. And sadly, it should be a great, what's it called, for everybody to see. Still, still, great show for everybody.